there are many things in this world that you don't want, I don't want to be reminded, you know, many things. For example, I don't want to be reminded how much I drank last night, <laughs> still uh, in, in my brain. Uh, I also don't want to be reminded that my friends are out there playing golf today. And I'm here in the dark room uh, speaking in front of a lot of people, it's a, a lot of pressure. Especially in front of a lot of uh, smart people like you. Another thing I don't want to be reminded is that I am going to die someday. <laughs> you are all too, right? Uh, I don't want to remind you, but uh, this is true. It's a fact. At the funeral, there were two friends talking about uh, his friend who just passed away. And one of the friends said, how much did he leave? And the other friend said, well, everything. Okay? That's always the case. You leave everything. And this uh, conversation reminds me of a movie called The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Brad Pitt, he was born old and then gets younger every day. Right? In this movie, there was a phrase that he said, sorry, uh, Maybe it's hard for the people in the back to see, but what he basically said, a man is born without any possession, and he leaves this world without any possession. All it's left is his story. Well, if Benjamin Button is right, then there should be many, many stories in this world. Right? All it's left is just stories. But where are these stories? Where is it? In your case, for example, where is your ancestor's stories, your grandpa's stories? Where is it? Is it in your home somewhere? Cabinet, bookshelf, in your computer somewhere? Probably uh, you don't have these. Uh, it's gone somewhere. Okay? So this is a problem as a society. Our society is pretty good in passing on some things and not so good in passing on certain things. Our society is pretty good in passing on money. We have laws, we have banks. Right? Parents can pass on money to their child pretty safely. Okay? In company's case, generational manager will pass on to the next generation manager of money. Money usually don't get lost. It's pretty well passed on. Another, good, another thing we are very good in passing on is our DNA. Yeah? If you are a mother, I guess most of you are too young to be mother here. If you are a mother, you are very successful in passing on your DNA. If you are a father, maybe you are successful in passing on your DNA. Yeah? But you are definitely a recipient of your parents' DNA, right? Another thing that we do well is passing on our knowledge. We have universities, we have books, and we have schools. A teacher pass on the knowledge to students, and those students, some, some of them become teachers. We have internet, we have Wikipedia. We collect the knowledge and share with everybody. We're pretty good in passing on knowledge. but we're not very good in passing on our life stories. We lose 153, sorry, there's one zero missing there, 153,000 people per day in this world. And most of them lose life story with them. It's gone forever. And I think that's a loss to our mankind because these life stories are very precious and they can contain a lot of good lessons for our future generation. So, I think the problem is we don't have a specialized institution or system. We don't have an economical way of leaving our stories, saving our stories. Yeah? We have universities and banks to leave, pass on our knowledge and money. We have family system, marriage system to pass on our DNA but we don't have anybody specializing in passing on our life stories. 
that's the problem. Perhaps it's because people think that their life story or your ancestors' life story is not that important. Maybe money is more important. Yeah? So that's why people don't care, maybe. So I'll ask you a certain number of questions, four questions. When I, in, this, in this question, I'll say you. But when I say you, it means you and your family member and your, any, anybody you love. OK. You have your own life story, right? Yes? OK. And your life story is unique and cannot be reproduced, right? And your life story is something money cannot buy. It's very important stuff, precious stuff. But if you don't take proper action, it will be gone. It will be gone. It's going to be gone. Because stories are all, your life stories are all in your brain only. It's not recorded properly. So it will be gone. Our brains are not that reliable. So what are you going to do? You're going to lose something very precious. Definitely you're going to lose it. So what are you going to do? Unfortunately, the most common answer to this is do nothing. <laughs> you don't know what to do. I mean, there's, no, there's nobody to help you. Right? You don't know where to start, when to start. You might think you don't know how much it'll cost, how much time it'll take. So, we just let the time pass and your story will be gone. So, my idea is that we recruit massive number of helpers to save all of our life stories. This helper, I'll call him a Personal Story Assistant, PSA, right? <laughs> and the PSA, you all can be PSAs, but you will also need a certain minimum training to do a PSA. So I'm suggesting that we will set up an institution for PSA. Okay. This institution, can I point? Yeah, uh, the red one. Red one, yeah. Right there, okay. Institution can provide training, basic training, and certify them, uh, maybe lend them equipment, give them legal consultation, and most importantly, will provide access to database. And personal story assistant, we provide consultations and six kinds of services, and I have an acronym here called COPACS, COPAX, which I'll explain. COPAX, one is in capturing. Uh, one kind of training that we need to provide is taking pictures, yeah? uh, taking videos, or writing, uh, interviewing, and writing. Uh, it, you don't have to be at professional level, but at least you need to know what is a good picture and what is not a good picture. Okay. So capturing is very important because if you don't capture the right stuff, the uh, right things, then the output, it's also, the quality is not good enough. Yeah. And organization, this takes a lot of time. You need to organize the story bits. I say story bits because all the materials used in creating story, I call it story bits. For example, photograph, video, audio, a note, text, uh, and organizing these story bits is quite important. I'm sure a lot of you at your home, you have many, many pictures, story bits. And those pictures, some of them are analog, some of them digital, probably mostly digital uh, when you take them, but it's a, maybe it's in your hard disk, and it's not organized. Okay, but When it's not organized well, those pictures are trash. It just occupies hard disk space because you cannot find them anymore. But if you organize it well, it becomes treasure. Yeah? And also, uh, you, you will need to produce. You will need to produce a story. When you pass on to future generation, you don't want to just pass on lots of lots of photographs and video. The future generation would not want to go looking into it. What they want to hear is story, something that can touch them 
and uh, capturing emotion and making it uh, very emotional is quite important. So you will need some skills in producing stories. And archiving, you will need to know certain rules in archiving stuff, whether it's digital or analog. Right? Analog things are uh, have to be archived in different ways. And conversion. Uh, you, you'll, be need, you'll, be need, you'll be able to scan photographs properly, okay? And some of the uh, people might have archived their photographs in CD. Yeah? Honestly, not DVD, CD. But CD could be outdated technology in coming years. That means you will need to convert them into the latest technology. Also, CD's lifespan it's, they say some of them say it's five years, some people say 10 years. If your CD is more than 10 years, it's quite dangerous. You, may, you, want, you might want to reconvert it to another DVD or something. Right? And sharing. Uh, you could share it online or offline. Right? So that's uh, kind of services that PSA can provide. Now, we can have an institution and train lots of lots of PSAs and these PSAs can help their neighbors, families, and capture a lot of stories and collect a lot of stories and provide it back to the institution into the database. And this institution itself, we could have one per city where we could all network and we could have a massive amount of database of stories. And what this will do for city is that it will create more jobs. People, some people have free time. Some people have free time and there's uh, something they want to do. They want to contribute to the society. Or some people might want to make it, this into their profession. This is a job opportunity, I believe. And it also helps the senior people. Our cities are growing old. And if you go in there and listen to these people's stories, actually I've listened to uh, many people's stories, but older they are, the stories are more interesting. So, by listening to them, you help them too. You respect them, they get acknowledged, and they also will uh, receive concerns. It also helps the future generation, because once you capture these stories, and you compile it into a good, interesting story, future generation will be able to see it or read it, and will learn things from it. It will also attract visitors. Now, this is becoming more of a, our topic about city, but if we have massive database of many people in the city, and let's say I have person one, two, three, let me 10,000, 100,000 people stories, and if I am able to access crisscross, let's say for about this building here, uh, this building is called Yongle Suchang, right? Yongle Suchang building. And if I can cross-reference Yongle Suchang through these 10,000 people and take bits of stories from these people, I'll be able to create a story about this building. And it could be a very interesting story, right? And I could do that for any building or anywhere you want to make uh, stories. I, only if I am, have organized all these uh, story bits pretty well, then I'll sh I should be able to collect materials instantly. And then I can make compile a story for any visitor site. So, city is a collection of stories. That is my conclusion. If we all turn into PSA, start helping each other, and then uh, start from your, start from the uh, oldest people, collecting stories, listen to them, and then organize their story bits. I'm sure one day we will have a huge database which can help the city become more beautiful.